Hi everybody, all my followers, uh, welcome to another video. Right, first of all, guys, I do apologize for the mess. The workshop is an absolutely mess. Um, I'm waiting for parts for some tallies, so everything is a little bit... But we still have room to do what we're going to do. So, uh, what are we going to do? Um, probably, uh, spur the title, you already figured out. So, what we are, blah, what we are working on is on uh, ECU and uh, this is the ECU okay so it's a magnet Morelli so it's a MJD 6JO uh, from a combo 1.3 JTD okay so this is from a combo 2006 uh, 1.3 uh, diesel CDTI and uh, now the reason why I'm doing this is one, but you can do this for another reason. So the reason why I'm doing this is to uh, load a file uh, without the immobilizer. So basically we're going to remove the immobilizer on this module, on this ECU. But you can use the same uh, uh, procedure to, let's say, to change the maps, to remove DPF, uh, to, well, to whatever really um, so I'm already ready to do the job but I'll take you through what we need to do so first obviously take this here from the car the take the cover off and you have the BDM port right there at the back okay so that's the BDM port actually I can show you on a ECU similar to that same ECU here uh, so this is the BDM port okay uh, pin number one, if I'm not mistaken, is this one here on that corner there. <laughs> uh, to read uh, and write this ECU, there's another thing you need to do, very important. So the first thing you need to do is remove is remove. Let's see if the phone focus is remove this resistor here. Okay, so this resistor needs to come out. Okay, you're gonna see on this ECU here that I removed the resistor already, okay? So the resistor is removed and it's over here right at the tip of these tweezers, okay? So, first remove that so you don't forget. Uh, key tag will tell you everything, so you're gonna be using key tag for that. Uh, key tag will take you through the steps, but I'll just take you through here. So that's the first thing. Second thing, I'm going to show you here is the connections. Uh, you're going to see I've used color code wires. And uh, the connections are, if you want to... So, this is the connections you need to do. So, on pin number one, you leave one. So, you leave, on this side, you leave the first two and you solder a wire on there. Then leave a blank one solder another wire and there's two wires on this side on this side leave the first one or the bottom one uh, empty solder a wire another wire leave an empty and another wire so it's five wires you need to solder it in there these wires then are connected to this uh, cable from Kitag the guide facing up and you connect Let's see when I have that one okay so the guide facing up you connect the yellow on your first one on the first hole leave an empty one and then blue and uh, green in this case as you can see here on the picture is actually show where they go so okay and then right underneath the blue and the green I've connected black and red which they go there you can use any, any other color the important is where they go okay so green goes on that uh, BDM pin over there the blue goes on that one then the red underneath goes on that one over there the black goes on there and the yellow comes there okay so that's the important yeah so that's connected another thing that you need to connect is you need this cable as well to power the ECU okay and these are your connections 
Okay. So, as you can see, it's already connected. And, and that's it. These were pictures that I took myself when I've done these already in, in, in other cars for another purpose. But, okay, so. So, uh, what we do next is... We go open that. We select cars and we go down to voxel. It's in there. Is a is a Corsa C. It doesn't have a combo, but it's it's the same engine, same car. You select it and you press OK. And everything I've showed you already is going to be here. All the connections. So it shows you the BDM. It shows you the resistor, zero ohms that you need to remove. Oh, sorry, the pin one was actually the opposite one, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and you have here the connections for the on the plug. If you have the adapter, I don't have adapter. I just stand it like this. Okay. Once again, the adapter. If you have the adapter, I don't. Okay. So wall press now is okay. Is a uh, Magnet Morelli MJD six JF. This one is not the JF, but we'll select that one because the EP ROM is going to be the same. Okay. And what I want to read is I want to read the EP ROM. So we're gonna back up. Oh no, uh, first we need to do read. So it's gonna identify in the ECU. Uh, I've done a mistake already. So he's reading already. I'm gonna have to do this again because I've select to back up everything. And I don't want to back up everything. All I want to back up is the EPROM. I hope the phone is not too far away from the screen and you can actually see what I'm doing, but... Okay, he's gonna ask me now to save. So he's reading the EPROM now. That's why I'm interested on. Okay, so he's asking me to save, I'm gonna cancel. Because I don't want to back up everything, I want to back up the EPROM. It's gonna read. Okay, he's reading the EPROM only, that's what I want. Okay, so we're gonna back up this as a. Uh, Combo, original, and a desktop, uh, whatever he wants to back up as this. Okay, okay, it came up in there in this corner, that's what I need. Now I'm gonna write Iprom. I'm gonna write, you're gonna ask me for what I want, and that's gonna be because I have the file already, that's the file I want. Okay. Writing successfully completed, and that's it, guys. There's now the new file has been loaded into this uh, module, uh, disabling 
uh, disabling the immobilizer. So, uh, I'm not going to be able to show you that on the car. Uh, but uh, the purpose of this video is just to show you um, how you can do it, how maybe a little bit how you use key tag to reprogram um, a module. Obviously, I could use this, as I said earlier, to actually back up the maps, the microcontroller, uh, the maps, and then write in new maps if you want to, like, you know, tuning or whatever. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's what it is. Um, obviously, you have now the, the file. The file that I am... Uh, where's the thing on? Uh. So you have the file here now. Oh, I can't. I can't. I don't have the file. Sorry. Uh, this is not the right software. Where is the other one? Da -da -da. the thing oh, okay uh, just hold a second is there somewhere I have one in here that uh, it's gonna use Xprog will do that I don't know where I have the software so if I open that the file we just put in you can actually have a look at the file so you have things like um, the type of the engine, as you can see there, there's a lot of data, you have uh, the VIN number. So all the data, so if you want to change any data here, if you know what you're doing obviously, and what to look for, that's where you do it. Okay guys, uh, I think that's it really. Um, if you have any questions, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about key tag or this sort of uh, work, uh, please, guys, let me know in the comments below. Um, and uh, like always, thank you so much for watching.